progress bug extensively to visualize projects inside Notion. Let's look at how to create one and customize it. Progress bars in Notion are created using formulas. There are three ways to configure this. One way is to use the progress bar that grows more with progress. The second one is the one that grows progress against the goal. The third option may be to use emojis and colors to show progress. The look and feel of the progress bar is a very personal choice. Now let's break down option number two so that you get an idea. The formula itself consists of four parts. Part number one tests if it is complete or partially complete. Part number two tests what is remaining. Part number three plugs in the percentage completed as a number appended to the end of the progress bar. And part number four adds the condition for when it is zero. To start off, we create a database table with the following columns. Name, which is a default field in Notion that we just cannot delete. The completed column, which is a number. This represents how much of the project has been completed against 100%. The goal column, which is a number and represents 100%. And finally, the progress bar, which is a formula column, which we will build. Part one is an if formula. The syntax of a typical if formula is if condition, true result and false result. The condition is a test to check whether it's true or not. If it's true, the true result is exercise. And if it's false, the false result is exercise. The same syntax can also be written without the if formula. And it could just be written as condition, true, colon, false. There's a space between the condition and true. Here the condition is stated up front. And after a space, the true result is showcased. And then after the colon, the false result. Let's look closer at part one. The condition we will test is whether the goal has been completed or not. So we ask the question, is the ratio of the property of completed to the property of goal greater than or equal to one? We follow that by a question mark. Just note here that we are using the greater than or equal operator. Now we leave a space so that we can enter the true result and the false result. We want the true result to show up as a tick. The tick has been borrowed from the character entity reference chart, which I've referenced below in the description. You can also look at the HTML symbols reference chart in case you liked something from there. The reasons I prefer these to emojis is that they behave much better with formulae. In the false result, we want to show the actual progress. This is where we use the slice formula. The slice formula is a combination of the string, the start character and the end character. The string we are using are actually 10 shaded boxes with a start string of zero. The formula for the end string is the lowest rounded number to the completed percentage. The lowest rounded number is achieved by the flow formula. So for a floor of 42.2, it returns 42. The format formula converts the end result into a string. That's text characters. Now we're looking at the empty part of the formula. So we introduce the same formula with slice, but with a small twist. The end characters that we will take in the slice formula will be the higher number remaining, which is defined by seal. And we are now subtracting from the universe, the completed fraction multiplied by 10. Notice here that the slice shade is lighter to differentiate it with the darker shade. The third part of the formula extracts the actual completion percentage without the percentage symbol. Before that, you want to give it a space. So the formula starts with a space followed by the ratio of completed to goal multiplied by 100. The round formula rounds off the value to the nearest integer. The format formula keeps this as a text string so that the type of the character remains constant throughout the formula. In part four, we add another condition. If the completed column is empty, 
then we add this as 0%. Otherwise, we just add a percentage symbol at the end of it. Now the four individual parts of the formula are complete and it's just joined together using a plus sign across. And this is how the final output looks. The fun part of the progress bar is to show how it looks. I have created several different types of progress bar formulae to give you a visual representation. The characters in all of them have been borrowed from the character entity reference chart or the HTML table as the case may be. Notice here that I have a positive progress bar as well, where we have just eliminated part two of the formula to arrive at a different representation. You can also add emojis to indicate the positive and the negative part of the progress bar or any other characters that appeal to you. Now it's your turn to customize. Did you like the video? Did you learn something new? Do leave a comment below. If you're not yet part of this community, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon and stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.